third time that the World Championships have been staged in Spain. And one more match to come for you to come on day two of competition, and it's women's doubles. And it's Tio and Yap from Malaysia, up against Boya and Paulson of Denmark. So this section of the draw, this match for the right to play against the number 11 seeds, Frogo and Tuerson. And this section of the draw also has Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, recent winners of the World Tour Finals in Bali. That Korean pair also the Olympic bronze medalists. So the public address confirming this is the last match of the day and this, I can tell you, will be a first ever meeting between these two pairs. So Danish combination, left and right-handed pair. Receive, who will receive? Uh, yeah. Yeah, will receive. I will serve. Alexandra will serve on, on that side. Okay, so the Malaysians have chosen to receive. So, Alexandra Boya. Looking at at the moment, she's 22 years of age. She turned 22 last Monday, exactly a week ago. And here is Yap Ling, 21 years of age from the ancient city of Malacca. And she's had her injury woes of late. A recurrence of a right ankle injury meant that she had to withdraw from the tournaments early in the year, the Swiss Open and the All England Open. And it means that she and her partner have actually only played one individual tournament so far this year. Tio Mei Singh is 24 years of age from Subang, Subang Jaya in Solanga. 163 is 5 foot 4. And they went down one place in the world ranking this week to 77. So to the left-handed Neda Paulson. 28 years of age. And she and her partner, just down from their career high of 29, had a, a total of 10 weeks across two different spells. At 29 in the world, but now a couple of places down. So Boya, as I was telling you, celebrated her 22nd birthday exactly a week ago. Born in the medieval town of Horsens in, on the east coast of Jutland. 173, that's 5 foot 8. And they're playing in their first world championships as a pair, as indeed are the Malaysians. Ready to play? Ten tournaments this year for the Danes in comparison to that one tournament, the Spanish International Challenger event for Teal and Yap. Here this Metzpalu is our umpire for this one from Estonia and Cornelia Schroeder of Germany is the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, 
Kyo Mei Sing and Yap Ling, Malaysia. And on my left, Alexandra Boy and Meta Poulsen, Denmark. Alexandra Boy to serve to Yap Ling, Lavo, Clay. So this first round women's doubles match. The games the left and right hand up, far side of the courts. Boy Aaron Paulson so up against Tio and Yap from Malaysia. Good defence from Boya. Turning the rally, turning the momentum so of the rally. One all. Yeah. Nice placement of the smash. Two, one. Service fault called on the Paulson. Too high. Service over. Two all. Over the 1.15 metre mark. Rally. The lift is long, though, from to amazing. Oh. Yeah, good return of serve. Service call. Full called. Too high. Service over. Four all. So one service fault called a piece. Turn of serve from Yaplin. Oh, confusion. Between the two Malaysians. Play. 
Oh. And they both left it for the other. Seven, five, seven. Run off to change the racket, and I distracted Meta Paulson. Well, string has gone in the racket. Yep. Just heard from okay. Tim Willis. So, Yonex Stringer, part of the stringing team here. They've done over 700 rackets so far, and we're on day two of competition. That's extraordinary, isn't it? No wonder they have an army of stringers here. Seven all. Oh yes, that's a lovely backhand kill, that was crisp. Racket arm outstretched, short sharp movement of the racket head. Generated by the loosening then tightening of the grip. gone this time in the racket of Meta Paulson. Three quarter finals this year for this Danish combination in the Toyota Thailand Open, Orleon, which is a 100 event, and also at the European Championships. Amazing. Yeah, and the Malaysians go to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage on a run of three straight points. Chen Chong Ming, their coach. Well, the player's court been called back onto court, and I can tell you there's an issue with the court because there was a light flashing at the back of the court, but it's now been fixed.
Eleven nine. Yep. Yes, it's play. Yeah, Ling. Who's serving? You can see the strapping on her right ankle there, just above the sock. That was the injury I was telling you about. Was a right Eleven idea. Ball. She made her way forward, didn't want to lift it, needed to play back to the net to May Singh. Yep, ready. So once again, all level. So we scored four. Too high. This time we called on Boyer. Service over, 12, 11. Thomas Thungor, Danish coach. So the only player who's not been called a fault for too high on their serve so far is La Yap Ling. Service so fault, ball. Service for call, call too high. for a second time on Service over, 12, all. Fast and furious in that rally. Service, oh, fault, service fault. fault called. Second time on Paulson. Well, we've had five service, service faults called 13, already in this match. doubles and women's singles are the only two disciplines where Malaysian badminton players have not medalled at the World Championships. Oh yes, there's that efficient backhand kill at the net once again from Meta Paulson. 15, all.
Yep. Yep. Please. Service error. That's two service faults and a service error from Teal Mei Singh. Straight points for the Danes. So this round over. One comes to an end. Seventeen, eighteen. There's no so doubt over. that the Danes have been far more 19, decisive at the front of the court 17. than the Malaysians. to try and make 17. the kill at the front of the court. That one, well, it simply wasn't good enough. So game point opportunities, three of them for Boya and Paulson. Play by Teo May Singh. Yeah, Manoeuvring Paulson. Ready? Service error. Game. From Teo May Singh. Gives Boyan the opening game to the Danes. 21 at 18. 18 confirms the umpire. Oh, Super godt. God 
rigtig, rigtig fint lidt. Vi laver noget, så vi går tilbage, og når vi presser, så bliver vi jo væk. Vi er lige til at tænke, når vi serverer. Vi har en, der er med den her herfra. Det er simpelthen deres server her. Så så må vi se, hvor meget af øh, beløbten er. Ja, ja, lige præcis. Ja. Bevægelse. Så lige snart vi skærer på tværs af banen. So the players return for the start of the second game. The Danes Alexandra Boya and Meta Paulsen having won the opening game. 21-18. Second game. Lovell. Well. Play. I think the Malaysians need to be far more proactive at the front of the court. Yeah, that's good placement of the smash One by Meta Paulson. Aiming towards the left hip of Teo Mei Sin when she was defending forehand defence. A yeah, lovely return of serve. Silver. One or Play. Mm. Serve silver. Two, one. Well, all four players now have either made a service error or a service fault. Service fault is when the serve is not legal. The service service error. Oh, here we go. There's another service fault. Too high. Too high so on silver. Meta Paulson. Q O. Silver, three, four. Silver. Five, three. So 
Sorry, silver. Four, five. gone long. Well, she's so right to try and intercept. But six, it's four, got to get it going in a steeper downward direction. Hand defense Four. of Yap Lin. Overdone it. Smash from so Yap Lin. Eight Oh, super defence from Meta Paulson. Yeah, Nine, Thomas Stangor like that one. Driving the shuttle back. And look, they're both moving forward, the Danes, after that drive defence, both looking for the net area, should the shuttle have come back. They're very much keeping in touching distance, the Malaysians. This second game, still either pairs for the taking. Service fault, ball. Too high. 10-7. That's the third service fault. for Tio Maysing. Oh yes, 11, good 10. flick serve. Interval. Knew exactly where the reply was going to come. Yeah. Yeah. A four point advantage yeah. at the mid game interval. Yeah. Here yeah. in the second game. Yeah. Yeah. With a two point deficit in the opening game and they still won it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Not a lot of instruction from Thomas Stangle I'm asking the, uh, his players questions and uh, then agreeing or final party comments. Yeah. Come on. Play. Not the best of serves. Oh. Well, she may have missed that to amazing. But I like the fact that she was trying to go for the kill. Ready? There's a challenge here for Alexander Boyer. Alexander Boyer challenge is called in. And another string gone in the racket to Meta Paulson. Yeah, good challenge. Correction out. suspect this Play. is the decisive move. Six point advantage. Oh, no, service service gold, gold. Called. Too high. Service over. Eight thirteen. Eight service faults called in this match so far. Oh, yes. Service over. Cross the body. 15, 10. Oh. Yep, link. Yeah. Spinal smash. Yeah, she not ready for the one Thank across you. the body at all. By the time she got the racket there, it was far too late. Service 
Nice over. Yeah, he's developing into a good rally. 16. To that era. 11. Yuckling. Very alert to the flick serve, Meadow Paulson. Quick. Uh, she was trying to 18. do the right thing, go for the acute angle. points away from the second round for your own Paulson. Yes, now that was more decisive at the front of the court from Teal May Singh. That's what I've been wanting to see from the Malaysians all match. Rally. Good fight by the Malaysians. 16, 19. Right so far, fifty shots. Oh. 
Another string gone in the racket of Meta Paulson. 17-19. Well, this has now become very interesting. Three straight points by the Malaysians and only two points the deficit. Just enough pace on the return of 20, serve to make it awkward. Match point, 17. Match point opportunities. Three of them for the Danes, Boya and Paulson. on their first 21-18, 21-17, a match lasting 41 minutes. And Alexandra Boya and Meta Paulson book their place Mike in the second Boyle round to play Alexandra against Frogo and, and Tuerson, another 18, Danish combination. This is the final rally. And the attempted cross court net shot from Thiel Mei Sin finding the net. So the victory for the Danes. Confirmation of that scoreline 21 18, 21 17 in 41 minutes. So they take leave for off centre stage, and that's our match is concluded for day two of competition. First round matches today, which all started at nine o'clock this morning with Ferdinand Sira and Kani of Indonesia, beating Reynolds and Dara from Ireland in the first match, the mixed doubles. There it is. Uh, then it was men's singles and Igor Coelho of Brazil beating Maxime Moriz in two games. Kato Sunayama, the number nine seed, the recent winner of the French Open, had a real battle against the left-hander Sergei Sirant of the Russian Federation. And then it was another men's singles, um, Penalva of Spain, keeping a, a Spanish interest in the men's singles in round two. And uh, then women's doubles and the winners in Saarbrücken, Hushi and Matsuda. Uh, winning very comfortably in their match, two straight games. Then it was men's doubles, and Koga and Saito uh, beating the three-time finalists at the World Junior Championships in two straight games. I thought that one would be a little closer. Payu Po was uh, looking very good in her match, coming through in two straight games against uh, Teta Tusa of Myanmar. Uh, then it was men's doubles and Okum Okamura and Onodero uh, coming through in two games. That was under 30 minutes, that one. Uh, Vitting Hoos needed three games uh, to beat the World Championship bronze medalist from 2013, Tianmen Nguyen. An hour and two minutes for that. Then the biggest upset of the tournament so far, the Olympic champion and the former world champion, Victor Axelsen, beaten by Loken Yu of Singapore, 21-6 in the deciding game. And then we had uh, men's singles with the world championship silver medalist from the last world championships, Anas Antonsen, uh, coming through against uh, Malkov in two straight games and as we've just seen in the women's doubles Boya and Paulsen of Denmark book their place in the second round two straight games over the Malaysians Tio and Yap so that's it for today second round action tomorrow same time as today that's 9am local time 0800 GMT from all of us here and especially from me Jill Clark we'll see you tomorrow bye for now <laughs>